Morning in New Haven, police are trying to figure out how two people wound up in the Quinnipiac River late last night. This morning, cops are investigating this as a crime. News 8's Ann Craig is live in New Haven with more. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, Kristen. As you would imagine, it's incredibly dark out here right now, but the Quinnipiac River is right behind us. We're just down from the Ferry Street Triangle, and this is the scene where last night, New Haven police and fire crews had to rescue two people from the water in what they're calling a very bizarre case. Now, this happened around 10 o'clock last night when emergency crews were called here. Someone first heard a woman screaming, and when police arrived, they found a woman in the water, and they immediately went into rescue mode. Fire crews arrived a short time later. Police department did a, did a very good job. Uh, they, they had their eyes on the woman. A kayaker actually uh, came up from behind her and scooped her about halfway between this side and Quinnipiac Avenue side uh, and brought her over to us. We uh, then lowered a rope to her, tied a rope to her and wound up pulling her over the railing. Uh, then we had a report of a, a second person in the water, a male. Uh, the police department again had their eyes on him, uh, went over the railing with a couple of our guys. Again, we tied a rope around him and uh, pulled him up. And uh, how it originated, we're not sure. Well, as you just heard, it was a big rescue at effort out here last night. First, they heard the woman cry, then they heard that man's cry. Well, police believe the guy may have been trying to harm the woman. He was arrested on the scene. Police are investigating this as a crime, but still, the details right now are incredibly sketchy as to how these two people ended up in the water in the first place. We'll bring you more details as they become available. For now, live in New Haven and Craig, News 8.